let me demonstrate the, the importance of the specificity. There are 10 actors in a room and they're all for a producer's callback. How many love the producer's callback? The producer's callback is an interesting thing. So they all have the same thing to say. I want that water. That's it. So the first actor comes in and he walks in and uh, he goes, I want that water. And the producers go, yeah, okay, I believe me, wants the water. Next. Second guy comes in, I want that water. Yeah, I believe me, wants the water. Okay, next. Third, fourth, fifth. I want that water. Yeah, I believe me, wants the water. Next. Tenth actor comes in and this tenth actor is Morgan Freeman. The tenth actor comes in, Morgan Freeman, he says, I want that water. And the producer actually drops the sandwich out of his hand this time. And he looks it up and he goes, yes, that's him. That's my actor. Hire him. And then, of course, three months later, we see the thing on TV or hear it on the radio or we see it in the theaters or we see it on stage and we go, oh, well, I could have done that. Well, there's a reason I didn't get that. It's because it's Morgan Freeman or it's because they, you know, they wanted this, they want an older guy or whatever. Could any one of those 10 actors have gotten that job as easily as Morgan Freeman? Yes. The answer is yes. I'll answer it for you. So my question is, is why did Morgan Freeman get the job over the other nine? And the answer is not because he's Morgan Freeman or because he really wanted the water. Nine out of those 10 actors got their sides and they went like this. I want that water. I want that water. I want that water. I want that water. <laughs> Right? That's what 9 out of 10. So they said it over and over and over again till they had conviction in the way they said it. In the voiceover world, we go, that was a nice read. That was a nice read. But let's assume that if you're in this audition, everyone has a nice read, right? You got here, so you have an agent who submitted you, thought you were right for this. You must have a nice read. What do you bring to it? So they did it with conviction so many times that they go, yeah, okay, I believe me, he wants the water. Morgan Freeman took that script and he goes, I want that water. And turned over his story. And he sat there and he said, why do I want that water? 99.9% .9 of you, if I ask you why you're saying what's on the page, will say to me, because that's what's written. That's what we all do. Well, that's what's written for me. New from Chili's, Chili's Hot Beans. Do you care about the hot beans? Well, I know, but I like how I sound. <laughs> OK. He said, why do I want that water? Is that water for me? Or is it for someone else? Or is it that everything has been taken away from me? And if I get that water, I can get my strength back. And if I get my strength back, I'll go after these guys and I will get everything back. But it starts with that water and that's why I need that water. Something resonated for him. The imagination started going. You felt something on a very visceral level. You felt it in your heart or you felt it in your head. Something resonated for you. And that's all he focused on. And then he goes in there and he doesn't have to create all that that's happened. He just comes in and goes, I want that water. He knows why he's there. If you're thinking it, we know it. Write that down. If you're thinking it, we know it. If you're thinking about getting that water back, we're going to believe you. But 99.9% .9 of us don't believe that if we just think it, you're going to know it. I'll give you a perfect example. There's a woman sitting on this chair right here, and a man and the woman are having a conversation. And the, uh, the man goes to get this, her, a sweater for this woman because they're going to go out. And he gets the sweater as they're talking, and he puts the sweater on her, and he, and, and he goes like this. He likes her. We get it. You like her. Okay? That's what they call indicating in the acting world. But isn't it simply true that from a human perspective, if we're watching someone put a sweater on someone as they're walking open the door and hold the door open for them, we're going to go, oh, he likes her. Oh, that was very nice that he did that. We trust that. We trust that. But when we get up there, we feel that we have to let the writers know that we get what they're going for. 
How many people think it's our job to drive the scene? How many people think that if we have the funniest improvised line, that's going to get us the job? Or if we really stand out because we're funny, or we're more intense, we're going to get the job. Anyone believe that? OK, good, good. I really appreciate that, because I'm like that. I know if I put an impro improvised line in, oh, yeah, I'm going to stand out. It's not my job to drive the scene. I'm to let the scene drive me. OK. If you're thinking it, we know.